Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is December 17, 2015, and today is Thursday morning. So on the back of yesterday's FOMC meeting, big number yesterday, as we all know. Uh, we'll be looking at the uh, charts in just a minute. Now, looking at the economic calendar, uh, actually three numbers coming out today. First, we start with a German number. That's a euro. that will affect the euro. It's a manufacturing number that's coming out at 11 a.m. South African time. And then at 11.30, we have a GBP retail sales, monthly retail sales for the GBP, and that's at 11.30 South African time. And then at 3.30 South African time, we have a Philly Fed manufacturing number coming out of the United States, and then the weekly unemployment. So on the back of yesterday's, colossal FOMC meeting, um, today's numbers are, are relatively small considering. Okay, we're going to start with the Dow Jones because that probably was affected the most by yesterday's moves. So if we look at the Dow Jones, we're looking at a 30-minute chart here. We sold off in the beginning of the day, and then we just rocketed out of control. What happened was the FOMC has been keeping the interest rates at zero for the past seven years. Now, the reason they did that is basically they control the money flow into the economy of the United States. They control the value of the dollar. Now, the more the more it costs to borrow, okay, the devaluation of the dollar will be. So for so until now, it's it's uh, it's mostly until seven years ago, it was mostly uh, controlled by the increase or decrease of the interest rates. Uh, and that was uh, pred predicated by Mr. Greenspan uh, and Bernanke, which uh, Bernanke really didn't do anything besides keep it at zero. The other way that they manipulate the markets is by uh, dumping dollars into the economy or controlling the supply of dollars into the economy. So there are really two factors the Fed has in terms of controlling the devaluation or valuation of the dollar. Uh, and and they they take very complex economic uh, evaluations and you know it's it's really you know stuff that you know I don't even get uh, some of the time and I'll I'll be honest with you because it, it's a lot of it is is theoretical and they have to apply it to practical so some of the economic classes that I've taken in university you know in the economic scale they apply very well but once you bring it down to you know a, you know Main Street business. Uh, it, it, there's a big parity between it. And so, you know, really what they're doing behind the scenes, we will never know. Uh, but when they increase or decrease the interest rates, that's something that we do see. Uh, and in that case, you know, it's something very public. Um, so in that case, I mean, it's, it's a huge, uh, turnaround for the U S economy that the, for, for the first time in about seven years that they increased the interest rates. Uh, basically that means the banks were borrowing, at zero percent from the government in order to give loans to the to the country. So the banks were making lots of money. Now the banks will keep their profit margin uh, still there, despite the fact that uh, the interest rates have gone up uh, for the first time. So uh, essentially, banks will continue to make business. The people that it costs them more money uh, to to now borrow money is your end end consumer, credit cards, mortgages. You know, any sort of loans that you're taking with some sort of interest rate is backed by the U.S. government. So, uh, so it is a major, major number, and it's a big turnaround for the for the U.S. Uh, in terms of that. That's just the greater uh, scale of of what was going on over there. Now, looking at the graphs, I mean, look on a daily chart, we're still between these two levels of 17,850 and 17,000. So uh, we're Closing in at the higher, I'd like to see continued buying. That would really show me that, you know, the, there is tremendous confidence in the markets or not, uh, you know, because this move could be, uh, uh, could be pre precedent by a correction right here to 17,300. So I'd like to see a continued buying in this. I, I would like to, if it, we don't see continued buying, I think we could go back down to 17,000. So I'd keep an eye on this first today. Looking at the EURUSD, EURUSD also sold off once we broke this 109.55, we just took it down uh, further. And and this was this was the correction from last week from Draghi speaking. Uh, and now we 
we've topped off at 110 and now that is clearly a double top uh, and now we're at this bottom of this level of 108 28 about this level the question is are we going to bounce so i'd look for a bounce around here uh even if you're just taking 20 pips 30 pips profits no shame uh i think in this in this type of market it's it's actually really great looking at gold gold also uh had a spike yesterday and then sold off so you know crazy okay and this is what i was talking about for guys who are quick traders and can play the you know the other side uh this is exactly the opposite of what happened with the dow jones now what was beautiful about this graph i'll, I'll try to you know, zone in on it um is that we had this huge correction when the news came out okay and we we tanked to 106 and then we rallied right back and it's called fade uh and this is the reaction to initial action of what comes out in the market so this does happen often so if you're a fast trader you could you know assess which levels you want to go in and then fade usually you don't catch the first move but you can definitely catch the second move and you know in this case you would have made you know a good a good ten dollars within a very short period of time so uh this was definitely a a potential trade yesterday looking at oil here dead in its track back to $35 we had this little bounce from 35 to about 36 37 dollars and now we're back to 35 dollars and 40 cents so still very very weak I do expect it to continue going down looking at the USD Japanese yen also big appreciation after yesterday's move we're back into the 122 level uh, and that is a big correction between the GBP USD, the GBP Japanese yen, or the USD Japanese yen, I would be trading the USD Japanese yen because it's more volatile. Okay, so you got to look for the volatility in order to make some money. Looking at the USD Rand, it pretty much leveled off at this 14,900. As we see here, uh, we had this earlier this week gap down after President Zuma fired the finance minister, and then we're seeing a correction. So uh, let's hope that this correction will continue uh, in the uh, in the event that it doesn't. We may see this bounce again and retry this 15, uh, 16 level again. So keep an eye on this. Uh, those are my thoughts for today. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.